Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Flectus channel. The U.S. has initiated several programs to explore the Arctic polar with the aim of better understanding its impact on climate change and reducing global security risks. However, the ice is six to nine feet thick and can thicken up to 15 feet in some regions, making it difficult to access this calm, still area. Therefore, the U.S. Coast Guard has been leveraging innovative and powerful icebreaker ships to enhance the country's R&D capabilities. One of these impressive ships is the Cutter Healy, the most technically advanced polar icebreaker ship in the U.S. Coast Guard fleet. Named after Captain Michael A. Healy, Cutter Healy was constructed in 1996 through 97 and commissioned in August 2000. The vessel is nearly 420 feet long and 82 feet wide and capable of breaking 4.5 feet of ice at 20 knots continuously. She was designed to conduct a variety of research activities and provide a sustainable platform for other potential missions. In August 2020, the main propulsion motor of Cutter Healy caught fire while deployed to the Arctic. The vessel was soon transferred to a dry dock in Vallejo, California for repair, where the damaged motor was replaced with a new one. To do so, the team made a huge hole in the ship's dual hull. Then, a special heavy lift crane was used to move the pieces, install the spare motor, and recover the damaged one. One month later, the project was complete and Healy departed for her next mission. As an icebreaker, Healy's journey is difficult. Most often, the ship must go through ice sheets. The captain and the mates on the bridge scan the horizon for possible routes. A less ice-concentrated route is preferred. Yet, they are expert icebreakers to clear out the path and make it to their destination. Though the vessel is the largest icebreaker in the U.S. Coast Guard fleet, is it an optimally manned cutter? That means she has the bare minimum of crew members on board to ensure her safe navigation and conduct assigned missions. A great part of the ship itself is dedicated to scientific facilities.
Cutter Healy provides about 4,200 square feet of scientific research space. Main Lab, Biochemical, Electronics, Meteorological, and Photography, plus numerous sensor systems. The main lab is where the majority of experiments are conducted. The place is equipped with the latest technologies. Unmanned systems, advanced computers, and scientific freezers for storing the samples. In addition to a scientific conference room where researchers can meet to showcase progress and plan for the next steps. Healy has accommodations for up to 81 crew members and 50 scientists. She carries various science equipment to be utilized for collecting samples and analyzing, as well as containers and Arctic survey boats that allow conducting experiments away from the ship. Plus a hangar space for two H-65 Dolphin helicopters, or one Dolphin and one H-60 Jayhawk helicopter. Working in the Arctic is both challenging and passionate. The team does its best to explore and understand the unique characteristics of the North Pole. Meanwhile, they find time to engage in social and fun activities. Healy might also be used for search and rescue, along with its function as an icebreaker and mobile research laboratory. On July 12, 2014, the premier high-latitude research vessel freed a man from a 36-foot sailboat stuck in Arctic ice about 40 miles northeast of Barrow, Alaska. Unmanned aerial vehicles are also being used by the U.S. Coast Guard to pinpoint people that are lost at sea and recover them by boats. The scientific deployment to the Arctic takes months, but once the expedition completes its mission, they are ready to go back home. For this, Cutter Healy calls at the Port of Baltimore before it returns to its home port in Seattle, where families are gathered to welcome them. Recently, the French Navy has taken delivery of six H-160 medium utility helicopters from Airbus helicopters to support its critical search and rescue missions. The H-160 is an ultra-modern helicopter fitted with a modular design to ensure an array of missions, including offshore transportation and emergency medical services. It sports two RNO engines that can generate high speeds of up to 150 knots per hour and a range of 474 nautical miles. This helicopter, estimated at around $14 million, has cutting-edge features, including proposed highly advanced control systems, tail rotor fenestrin for greater useful load, 
flat altitude in flight, and blue edge rotor blades for quieter operations. Flying and operating the H-160 is quite easy, as the helicopter is fitted with simplified pre-flight checks and two minute automatic startup procedures. The H-160 can operate in extreme weather conditions, in the desert or the Arctic. In 2019, the aircraft completed its certification program for cold weather testing in Finland. Indeed, aircraft are one of the major assets of the U.S. Coast Guard. Currently, there are about 202 airplanes and helicopters in the fleet. The Coast Guard relies on these aircraft to support its work as a law enforcement arm and a military service branch, but also as a seafaring service. To keep all machinery functional and ready in case of emergency, the USCG conducts training daily. To evaluate the operational capabilities of its numerous assets, the U.S. Coast Guard, for instance, launched Operation Salik in 2008 in Barrow, Alaska. The operation lasted 16 days. Two MH-65 Dolphin helicopters, among other equipment, were being tested for their ability to operate in the Arctic Ocean. The operation included a patrol and rescue training exercise. Previously, the U.S. Army assisted the Royal Dutch Shell's Kaluk Arctic drilling. The military deployed two CH-46 Chinook to haul gear to the rig. Until December 2012, the Kaluk rig was operating in Alaska North Slope. While departing the Arctic towards her winter home, she encountered a storm. With high professionalism, the 18 crew members were evaluated by the U.S. Coast Guard using two Jayhawk helicopters. Months later, the rig was loaded onto the Zhang Rui Ku heavy lift vessel for transport to a shipyard in Singapore for repair. Many countries are interested in polar regions, whether it is for scientific research, oil production, or geopolitical reasons. Therefore, the U.S. Coast Guard must continue investing in advanced icebreakers and helicopters to enhance its presence in this region, maintain leadership in polar science, and protect its national sovereignty. That's the end of this video. 
make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content.